What is up guys and welcome back to my channel. It is so good to be back after two months and to celebrate, we are taking you to explore Central Sri Lanka. On this week's vlog, we are exploring Alla, a small town in the Badala district of the Uba province in Sri Lanka. Alla is a very popular tourist town for people moving from the south coast to the hill country. There are a number of activities to do in this area and we are going to be checking out just a few of them. What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to be back with another travel vlog for you guys. But unfortunately, we're experiencing some car troubles. We are kind of at a garage on our way to the destination. I'll keep you posted on how it goes. So we are currently just chilling in the vehicle. Luckily, the path that was needed, the washer, can be replaced easily in Bandaravela, which is close by. What's happening? So the guy from Bandaravela arrived with the gadget and they are fixing it onto the vehicle. Hopefully we'll be back on the move again soon. Good morning guys, so yesterday was a bit of a long day and we arrived super late at night guys so we had a quiet one in and now we are fully refreshed and ready to start our day of adventures. So Nine Skies is a teardrop property, one of many and it's found here in Alla. It's a beautiful 1920s renovated 5 bedroom tea planter bungalow. So it has a very unique colonial architecture and it's got a very interesting feature which is butler service throughout the day. So they do everything they can to make you feel comfortable. But another thing to note is the fact that they have taken the situation very seriously. So they sanitize public areas every two hours. Your bedrooms are sanitized when you arrive. The staff are always wearing masks. So this is a great place to travel to when you want to experience Alla. But it's also one of those places that give you ease of mind. So you feel safe when you're traveling. So I'm gonna dig into this delicious looking breakfast right now. And we have a long day of activities planned. Super excited to take you along. I know you're gonna love it. It's good to be back. So we are up for our first activity of the day. We are gonna explore Nil Diapokuna, which is supposed to be a cave belonging to the mythical king Ravana. An underground cave with a crystal clear blue watering mm -hmm. hole. This is the path leading up to the place. It's not so bad actually. Uh, you do need to wear shoes. I would recommend shoes. And we have um, our very own guide Metananda who discovered the place. He's taken us to it. If you guys want to visit this place, I'll leave all the links and contacts in the description below. But yeah, let's go. I'm super excited. Okay, we've arrived guys. Let's go check it out. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, I can't date the camera. Yeah. So this this is the current situation, guys. So it's really important that you come with somebody who knows the place and has all the safety requirements in check. This is what we are going with our guide. Mr. Anand. Mr. Anand. This is really cool because I never knew there were experiences like this in Sri Lanka. I had similar experiences in Thailand, but this is a first for me. So it's very very cool. So we are now halfway through, almost at the Nildia Pokuna. In the middle of the route, there is this massive cavern. It's like a great hall. Uh, we are assuming that the height of the ceiling is about 100 feet, even though it looks closer than that. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> there are bats all over the place, guys, but they're really harmless. And the slight smell that you get is also from them. And uh, yeah, this is pretty exhilarating to be honest i can't believe that there, there's so much hollow space under the earth under these mountains i mean we are in the central region where there are a lot of mountains so guys we are here at Nildia pokuna as you can see the water is really blue it feels super clean and it's just a stunning location and it's such a good reward after that hike which honestly is not bad, but you have to be very sure-footed. Endurance-wise, it's okay, so it's a judgment call. There are a few tight spots. Uh, what I really want to stress on is like being super responsible when you come here because we didn't see any trash here on the way. So I definitely encourage everyone to be responsible. Don't bring any like plastic wrappers or anything like that. But what you do need to bring is like a head torch or a light, bring some good shoes and you know some clothes that you're willing to get dirty and of course if you want to get in um, something to get in with because honestly this is the best reward once you come here and you can't come here without a guide which will be someone like Metananda or somebody else that is assigned to come to this place so make sure you reach out to them to not try to come here alone if your battery dies on your torch or lamp it's pitch black you will not be able to find your way and it's very easy to get lost very easy to injure yourself if you step on the wrong stones so definitely good to know someone who's been coming here for 20 odd years i would not recommend you to come here by yourself ever but uh, do make time on your list of things to do in Ella for this it's beautiful so on the way in guys there is this amazing ceiling that is made out of one single slab of rock it's got beautiful colors and lines on it of different minerals i'm assuming and it's really amazing to see how it's just one structure it's quite intriguing i wish i knew more about it to share with you but i just wanted to show you how stunning it was and now we are on our way up that was absolutely amazing i'll see you on the outside Okay. All right, guys, so we have made it out in one piece. Mission successful. Just a few cuts and bruises here and there but so much of adventure and experience i really enjoyed this and it's definitely like something for somebody who loves adventurous things it is exhilarating as well as definitely like awe-inspiring just to see the size of the cave inside um 
small knot make sure you use a bathroom before you come here because there's no bathrooms inside and you're not definitely not allowed to do anything of that sort in there because they want to preserve it as much as possible you can get in the water like I said but yes definitely uh, check this place out Mithanand in this guy right here this is Mithanand we're gonna leave his uh, contacts in the description make sure you reach out to him and he'll definitely make sure that you are safe and sound and make sure you have an amazing trip so thank you Mithanand super Another activity you could do after visiting Neil the Apokone is to visit the Ravana Alla Falls. But we were exhausted after our adventure and chose to head straight back to Nine Skies for a much needed shower. Alright, so after a very long and tiring day, thank you, a much welcome dinner out here, thank you so much, on this beautiful deck by the pool overlooking the gorgeous view of the town below. This is absolutely amazing guys, I'm going to dig in. Another noteworthy facet about staying at Nine Skies is that the property overlooks the famous Demodara Loop. If you're up in time, do head out to the garden and check out the trains take this unique loop which goes around and under the mountain. So when you come to Alla, Nine Ash Bridge is definitely going to be on your list. And it's a beautiful place to take lots of pictures and videos, but there's a very interesting story here as well. In the 1920s, when the British was running Sri Lanka, they planned to build this bridge. However, they ran into a major shortage of steel due to World War I. In comes PK Apuhami, a local who told them that the, he will build the bridge using local artisanal knowledge and materials like cement and rock. And so, he built the bridge in half the time and a fraction of the cost and surprised everyone. However, the British engineers were quite suspicious of the soundness of the structure because of the fact that it had been built so quickly and without an ounce of steel. And so, to attest to the strength of the structure, P.K. Akuhami is recorded to have said that he will lie at the bottom of the bridge when the first train goes across the bridge. And so, here we are today, a hundred years later, standing on one of the most pictured places on the island as well as home to the most beautiful train ride in the world, Nine Arch Bridge. So when you come to Alla, one of the things you must check out is the nightlife. This town, Alla town, is quite similar to Pai in Thailand and it's definitely one of the places that you have to check out. Usually it's buzzing, full of life and music and lots of people but unfortunately because of the situation it is a little low down right now but we are here and we're here to support. We're checking out Cafe Chill which is one of the really famous spots here to eat and drink at so let's go in and get some food. One of the most unique aspects about Nine Skies is its history as a planter's bungalow. It's so interesting to see how the colonial architecture has been maintained and brought forward into the modern era. There is attention to detail in all corners of the property and a wonderful effort towards sustainability that makes me happy to stay here.
Hi guys, so now it's time for lunch and Teardrops has a special culinary experience prepared for us. The chef is going to demonstrate how he makes some of his favorite local dishes. So let me take you through the secret gardens of Nine Skies to our cooking demonstration. Hi everyone, I'm Danushka, Chef Nine Skies. So today we are going to make uh, the polos curry. We need the some polos here, and they like spices, chili powder, curry powder, turmeric powder, the roasted curry powder, salt, black pepper, cumin seeds, cardamom foods, the whole black pepper, the gamboj, the cinnamon stick, the cloves, mustard seeds, curry leaves, and pandan leaves as well. Then here, onion, chili, and garlic. So please have a seat, so I'll make the, your flowers curry. We are finally ready to dig into our meal. By the way, I forgot to mention that polos is baby jackfruit and it's a wonderful dish for vegetarians. It cooks very beautifully. I'm excited to try this. So let's dig in. This looks amazing. So that's it for this one you guys. Thank you so much for watching until the end. I know there's so much more to do in Adler like hikes and beautiful sceneries to see but unfortunately we are on a tight schedule so we were only able to show you some of the things that were on the top of our list and I hope you enjoyed it. Next time we are here we'll definitely take you through some of the more incredible places to see in this area. Thank you so much to Nine Skies and Teardrop Hotels for hosting us. It's been an amazing stay. The staff have been absolutely amazing. The food, the view, everything has been phenomenal and I highly recommend you guys check it out. On next week's vlog, we are going to be taking you to another central town called Haputale and very excited to share one of our favorite places on the island to stay at. So stay tuned for next week. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.